Welcome to tea time. Today's flavor is Otomande. As usual, it's 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 fictional bishies. Um, <laughs> um, uh, uh, I had a thing for this and then immediately forgot it. So, oops. Um, but. Yeah, so last week Gretel got really creepy. I don't know if you guys remember, but it should be like the little thumbnail on the video. Um, he got real spooky because we got beat up by some some ruffians who were uh, angry at him and took it out on us, I guess. Well, we didn't really help matters because we kind of fucked shit up too. But um, then Red came to our rescue. Sweet baby boy Red, I love him. <laughs> um, so I guess we'll see what happens now. It, I don't know. It went to a different scene. It didn't turn into the immediate kidnapping, so I guess there's more that led to it. I don't know, but we're in, in the hospital with, with my big bro. My real big bro. The real blood bro. The, the, the real big blood bro. Ryoshi. The big boy. Look at him. Why are you, are, are you a doctor in this universe? Why are you wearing a coat like that? You're acting like a doctor. Anyways, uh, Ryoshi. I awoke in a hospital room. Is this a dream? Or is, <laughs> is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Fam, fantasy. I said fantasy. Intentionally. Whoa. Hi. I don't. Um, hi. Yeah, I'm okay. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Oh, that's right. Because he force fed us drugs. <laughs> I mean, not he, Ryoshi, but Gretel. Gretel gave us drugs that looked like star candy, which apparently he eats all the time. Um, which is a little concerning. Who told you? Oh, Red's still looking out for me. That's cute. Red was like, you should go check on your sister because she got a bunch of owies and I'm concerned for her well-being. What a cutie. Thank you, Red. The anonymous tip probably came from Red. We should thank him later. He is a good boy who helped us. He must have called in after he left my house. Where's Gretel? <laughs>ruh-roh. Uh. But don't. Uh, mm, Ryoshi, you haven't told? Okay. 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 Did, did you tell Aunt Gretel and Mom and Dad gonna get mad at him now? <laughs> I should have assumed police in the first place because of the situation, but oops, I guess. Thank you. Wordlessly, Ryoshi stroked my hair and then got up and left the room. See, when he does it, isn't creepy because he does it as a big brother and not as a... Potential love interest. <clears throat> Battling with the pain and fatigue, I forced myself upright. I looked around for any helpful information, but all I uh, all I could tell was that I had spent close to 24 hours here in the hospital room. Damn, bitch, how many sedatives did you give me? I had only been treated for my external injuries. No stomach pump that I could see. Outside the window, the sun was starting to set. I needed to find Gretel before it got dark. That way we could go home together. Spurred forward by impulse, I jumped to my feet. And made a bad decision. Pet, please! 
<laughs> Having managed to escape the hospital, I found myself wandering through the forest. Night had fallen, and it was, and all was dark. There's nothing bad happens in the forest at nighttime. A distinct bad feeling descended over me. Okay, well, maybe I should have read that next line. Hurry. Hurry. I have to find him before Ryoshi does. I knew Ryoshi was only worried for our safety, but if he got to Gretel before I did, he would lock him up again. And this time, it might actually destroy him completely. Just then, I caught a whiff of alcohol on the breeze. Alcohol? But it wasn't just alcohol. There was an indescribably horrid stench mixed in as well. I came to a stop by an... Uh, I came to a stop and overheard some voices. Male voices. Sniffling. And very familiar laughter. Really? I went to the same place twice? Is that it? <laughs> oh. Oh. Several figures deep in the woods. Then a tiny orange light flared up. Il He's gonna commit the murder! <laughs> Illuminating the very person I had been searching for. At his feet lay a group of youths, all of them bleeding heavily. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> あくまはお前らの方だろ。姉さんを食べようとしたくせに。ゴミは焼却処分にしなくちゃいけないよね。ストップ。やめろ。Just in the nick of time I managed to wrap my arms around him from behind. Hi, I'm here. <sighs> Upon closer inspection, I noticed Gretel was injured in a few areas, too. Gretel, you're bleeding. <laughs> yeah, that's my first concern. You're bleeding. Not the fact that you were about to light several people on fire. <laughs> Don't look at me so cute when you're about to kill someone. <laughs> at this, he donned a dashing smile and wiped his bloody cheek with his sleeve. It's <laughs> I mean, fair, but. then you'll go to jail for murder? And I won't get to see you anymore? Wait! With that, he moved to light his match. But Gretel! <laughs> no! I snatched the matchstick from behind him. It slipped out of his fingers and fell to the ground. Uh, I, I get it, but... <laughs> he pulled out another match! Um... Please don't do this! Murder?! <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. Ha 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 uh, hey, I said real! He kicked one of the delinquents lying at his feet. That's enough! I screamed at the top of my lungs, only I didn't, because I don't want to hurt my throat. Enough already! Just stop! Wow! wow! <laughs> Hi! Thank, <laughs> thank you for joining the party! <laughs> that broke the tension! 
been really nice. <laughs> if you go any further, he will die. Huh? He'll die. Do I need to... Do I need to repeat myself? He'll die? Uh... Okay, um, so... I don't know if you need a recap of the whole story or not, but essentially we're trying to stop Gretel from murdering people who tried to assault the main character in the last episode. Um, he's trying to b burn them alive with high alcohol and matches and it's, he's very calm about this whole situation. <laughs> Arson and murder, yeah. I, okay, Gretel, listen. Oh. 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 Gretel, you really make me question if Yandere isn't my favorite type. I still want to say yes, but holy shit, you make me second guess myself. <laughs> Silently, I shook my head because I don't want to scream anymore. Tears streamed uncontrollably down my face. Yeah, <laughs> I should listen to the red flags. They are trying to warn me about something. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> かばうんですか。こいつは姉さんを襲ったやつなんですよ。<laughs> but it wasn't. I'm fine now. That's how it works. It didn't happen, so I'm okay. Fuck! I hate you like, Fuck! Why are you so loud in my ears? Welcome to the real world? I'm begging you. Please. Just stop. I just want to go home with you. And if you cross that line, I... Oh god, that face. Stop, that's the face that freaks me out! <coughs> but right as he slumped his shoulders in defeat... <laughs> oh, well, fuck. Consequences of my actions. Oh, fuck. <coughs> Suddenly, I felt the vibration of an impact against my arms as they clung to Gretel. I mean, yeah, except <clears throat> Gretel's the romantic interest. Um, they justify it by saying he's your adopted brother, which, fine, point made, but... I don't know, I just, like... If he murders, he'll have to go to jail, and then I don't get to see him. That's, like, the biggest reasoning to not murder is murder, go to jail. Go to jail, don't see. I... <laughs> I don't know my... That's, that's just my brain breaking down into simple forms. But, I mean, at the same time, yes, would like to murder people who do these kinds of things. Fictionally speaking, I don't think I can carry it out in the real world. Help him find bodies. Yeah, no body, no crime, right? Says every cold case ever. Um, right, anyways. Oh, it's Ryoshi! <laughs> okay, still the consequences of my actions. Uh-oh. This isn't gonna look good for him. I looked up to find that Ryoshi had seized Gretel by the collar, his eyes blazing. Yes, the real big bro has discovered that murder was about to happen. What are you doing? Uh, it, I did it. It was me, not Gretel. I did it. Ryoshi! My beloved older brother had punched Gretel. You should know by now I do not listen. 
I had never seen Ryoshi this emotional in all my life. I shrank back. しかるならボクの。皆さんは僕のために<笑> An absolute psychopath, actually. I mean, Gre Gretel has all the characteristics of a psychopath. And I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. I, it I'm very torn. It's so good. But also, it makes me question my morality. His matter-of-fact demeanor sent a chill down my spine. Likewise, Ryoshi seemed to be at a loss for words. Then... Um, uh, then, after a moment, he turned and approached the thugs on the ground. The delinquents had been rendered immobile, so Ryoshi tended to them as he prepared to call the hospital. <laughs> Just let nature sort it out. Hi, my name's Nature. <laughs> Picks up match. I'm here to sort it. So I could can we stop saying that word? Just a little bit. Yeah, the wrong connection has been made. Gretel? That's all the show. Uh, wrong, wrong connection. That's not what he meant. Oh, are you talking about Gretel? You're like the smartest kid.優秀なあんたたちに認められたくて、今まで必死こいてやってきたんだよ。うん。スポーツも陰で努力をしながら今の地位を築き上げてきたんだ。ただ姉さんに追いつきたい一心で。姉さんと繋がっていたい一心で築き上げた。理想。なんで？なんで？お前たちはそれをぶっ壊そうとするんだ
Then I gently took him by the hand and took off running. Oh, this is where we abscond. Oi, Omera. Bye. I'm kidnapping my brother. Wee. I could hear Yoshi calling after us, but I didn't look back. I didn't need any guideposts to find my way home. Because to me, that wasn't my home anymore. The two siblings were lost in the woods. Hey! <laughs> There's the circle back to the original story! <laughs> we just took a really, really different detour to get here. With only moonlight illuminating their path, with no trail of breadcrumbs, they would never find their way home again. I don't know. But it'll work out. I'm going to keep you safe. Just then, a black cat appeared out of nowhere, swishing her tail as she trotted deeper into the forest. It's Mr. Wizard's cat! Is she trying to guide us? So... Every time we approach, uh, approached her, she ran de off deeper into the woods. Ultimately, she led us to a small cottage. There, she paused to lounge on the roof uh, to, to land on the roof for a moment, but when we walked up, she ran off again. What is this place? Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> this song is copyright, though! Hold on! No, we're gonna just turn off the game audio for a hot second, because this song is copyright. So <laughs> I don't know if this version is copyright or not, because there's no words right now, but I'm not taking the chance, so... And so they arrived at the candy house. Change the music. Change the... There we go. Okay, now it's safe to turn back on. Oh, we're back to the present now. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Gretel. <laughs> One look at his tears and the fog cleared from my memories. His actions. My actions. He had thrown himself into the fires of hell just for me.姉さんにだけは捨てられたくないんです。僕を家に置いてくれた両親や兄には、どれだけ嫌われたっていい。見捨てられても構わない。でも、姉さんだけは僕の手を離してほしくない。なのに、僕は… Nezaomirutabinyomundes。ah，なんで美味しそうなんだ。食べてしまいたいって。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。
ずるいですよね。姉さんは。ユリカ is known to be a tease, so I, I do apologize for her. 甘い匂いで人を誘っておいて、食べたら危険だなんて、そんな残酷なことってありますか姉さん。Jesus. 僕はあなたが食べたくて食べたくてしょうがない。I consider myself a snack, but apparently he says I'm a feast. Oh, <laughs> yes. um, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, a whole ass feast. Yes. I'm going to go to the house. I'm g o i n s t e n o n g to go to the h o u s e I'm g o i n <laughs> 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 um, honestly, yes. Which definition is, is this? <laughs> um, listen, you're, you're asking a lot of me right now, Gretel. You're asking a lot, because listen, I've been pining for you since the last round. Neza. 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 Mm -hmm. But what if I just help myself? I mean, um, <clears throat> Gretel. <laughs> Give him all cares. Yeah, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I was hoping his route was going to be like a, a di diverging path from Cinderella's, where instead of you marrying Cinderella, he like steals you away instead. Um, because I had been told it was a wild ride, and then I found out why it's a wild ride. <laughs> I was the one making him suffer. This was my punishment for falling in love with the man who was supposed to be my brother. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I need to save real quick, because I'm about to call Mr. Wizard over to tell me I made a bad decision. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Let's fucking go then, I guess. Just eat me! <laughs> I had spoken the forbidden words. From the bottom of my heart, I wanted his love. I'm not gonna stop you. He pushed me down and kissed me hungrily. His arms slid around my waist and I felt his hot breath against my neck. Then the ribbon binding my wrist came undone and I wrapped my arms around him. As our fingers, legs, and tongues intertwined, I could, uh, I could taste the sweet sugar. Okay, I'm. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> My brain cannot process this right now. Um, I wanted him to. I wanted him just like he wanted me. I needed just. Yeah, apparently, I, I'm like half worried. Like, how far is this gonna actually go? Because I don't think it's Twitch safe if it goes too much farther. Um. <laughs> But here we are. As he consumed me, I consumed him back, apparently. A different kind of Ouroboros? You mean the, the, this one? <laughs> this is, I need, yeah, I need a different one where it's more of like a, uh, but this. <laughs> I need to add more stuff. <laughs> mm. Oh no, Ana, you didn't come at a weird time. We just told Gretel it's okay for him to eat us. You know, like you do. I awoke to a crackling sound and a weird burnt smell. Gretel? <laughs> I love how confused you are, Ana. <laughs> It was basically pulling the plug on the sibling relationship, so now we're no longer siblings, but now 
romantically involved, I guess. Oh, Gretel had vanished. Did he light the cabin on fire? Oh, smoke poured in through the gaps in the walls. Uh, it, is the is the cabin on fire? Gretel? Frightened, I called for Gretel, but he was nowhere to be seen. No! It's Mr. Wizard! I fucked up! <laughs> Mr. Wizard, no! Mr. Wizard means I fucked it up. <sighs> Damn it. Listen, I just wanted my moment, Mr. Wizard. Fucking. Wait, like literally in, into flames? Mr. Wizard knows everything. あ。君を抱いた時、彼は殺や嬉しかったことだろう。うん。だが、目覚めた時、絶望が支配する。体のつながりを求めて、目に見えない絆を断ち切ってしまったと。後押ししたのはお前だよ。I pushed him into the figurative oven or the literal oven? Is he literally in the oven? Are you gonna push me in the oven? Don't you fuck, Mr. Wizard, don't! The fairy tale. Oh, fairy tales mark the end. God damn it! Mr. Wizard, please! Oh, I fucked up. But I fucked up though. What's funny is, uh, if 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 what I have been seeing is to believe, uh, in one of the later games for Taisho Alice, Mr. Wizard is actually a romanceable option. <laughs> I don't know which one, but I think he is. Cool. So we're gonna tell him, don't eat me. We're, listen, kids, say no to Vor. <laughs> oh, God. And we still have Kaguya after this. I don't know how I'm going to handle this. <clears throat> you can't have me. Yep, that's right. Don't give in to temptation, Gretel. I'll be going hungry, same as you. As much as I crave that sugar, I'll hold myself back. Oh, so our relationship is the, the figurative candy house that the witch lives in? And no matter what delicious food you prepare for me, if you're not having any, then neither will I. Yes. I'll be whatever you want me to be. A girlfriend, a friend, a sister. I'll promote myself to any piece on your uh, on the chessboard. I'll craft your ideal version of me. That's healthy. Totally. Not gonna backfire mentally. And if you so desire, I'll give you all of me. <clears throat> yeah, I don't I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> You're my precious baby brother. <laughs> You're family, Gretel, and I love you. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Just then, his hands started to shake, and his breathing grew labored. Gretel? What's wrong? Is it gonna just happen anyway? Oh, Jesus. Uh, he hastily jumped out of bed and staggered to the kitchen. Oh, he, he, he needs his medication. There he grabbed a certain jar I recognized all too well. Yeah, the oven. That's... Oh, Jesus. That tone in that face. That's a combo that's gonna haunt me. Mm. 
Do you? Do you feel? You, you, you look healthy. You look so healthy right now. He opened the lid, poured out a bunch of random colors, and popped them all into his mouth at once. That is too many. You're supposed to take them one at a time, Gretel. But he ignored me and swallowed the whole rainbow. Oh、Gretel。姉さんも食べますか。No。これを食べれば、少しは気分が落ち着きますよ。No、the sister side of me says no, but the romance side of me says, listen, you can feed me anything. I quietly shook my head. やっぱり思い出したんですね。せっかく忘れさせてあげようとしたのに。It yeah, was a very impactful night. <laughs> That's what what you dosed me with? I looked at the jar. はい。これは魔法のお菓子なんです。僕以外が食べすぎると。are, are prescriptions just magic made in this world? <laughs> I let out a dry laugh. That was dry, not nervous. <laughs> Yeah, the other route was better, only it ended with apparently him dying in a fire in the oven. I had al uh, I I had always faintly suspected him of drugging me, and na and now here he was, admitting to it flat out. I don't really know how to feel about it. Do you want me to be angry? He fell silent and averted his gaze. He's so sweet and naive. No, I'm not angry. I'm the one who pushed you to do this. Sometimes intentionally, other times inadvertently. It's not like you brought me here against my will. I came here of my own volition. So what's there to be angry about? What, you gonna tell me you hate it? I can't help it. I love you. ドロドロに溶かされる。ああ。ねえさん。僕に甘えてください。僕を必要としてください。僕がいなければダメになってしまうくらい。ドロドロに僕に甘やかされてください。Excuse me, I have I have a question for the audience. Is this one of those red flags that everyone tells me about? <laughs> Is this one of those Um <laughs> Oh, fine by me. You Oh, no. Don't say lock me up. I specifically requested not to be put in the cage. <laughs> Red is a nice color. I mean, you know, in in this situation, I I think I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> Uh, fine by me. You can lock me up or do whatever you want with me. I love you no matter what. Don't actually put me in the cage, though. I'm claustrophobic. <clears throat> the room was dark. With the curtains closed, I couldn't tell day from night. Not only that, but he had taped the edges to the wall so that not even a sliver of light could get through. In here, it was darker than night, as if I was living in a world consumed by darkness. Hmm. I keep messing with my mic, I'm very sorry. Gretel stood in the center of the darkened room. 
My eyes hadn't adjusted, so I couldn't see his expression, but his tone was rather upbeat. Oops. Just moments ago, Gretel was crying, but evidently the candy had kicked in and now he was back to his usual self. If I were MC, I would simply call him on his attitude. He wants me to depend on him for everything. Okay, I won't move an inch. <laughs> I would yell his name nonstop. I mean, <laughs> it would be kind of funny just to see how fed up he gets with it. Like, how quickly. How long can he last? Let's see how quickly he changes his tune. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Uh, was I meant to feel relieved or scared? I could no longer tell what the sane reaction was. I was too numb by this point. But now that I had my memories back, I had a clear understanding of Gretel's objective. As he stated earlier, he wanted to coddle me. He tied me up, cut the heat, and blocked out all the light in order to remove my agency and shut out the outside world. That way, I would be forced to rely on him to survive. Perhaps the best way to put it was he wanted to keep me as a pet. Yes, huh? Hmm. Yes? He sat down beside me on the edge of the bed and stroked my hair. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> I moved to rest my head on his shoulder but stopped myself. Gretel and I weren't lovers. We were only brother and sister. And I had nearly walked right into his trap.何か欲しいものがあったら遠慮せずに言ってくださいね。ミルクでもココアでも美味しい美味しいお菓子でもここには何でもありますから。二人で面白おかしく暮らしていきましょう。姉さん。Right. With my eyes closed, I couldn't see a thing, but my other senses were heightened and I could feel him close to me. This happiness was phony, warped, twisted. But if it still counted as happiness, then maybe a little twist here and there couldn't hurt. So we lived happily ever after <laughs> the end? <laughs> if only, okay, I was gonna say, what? <laughs> How far back do I need to go to fix that? <laughs> I thought back to Gretel's emotional outburst earlier. The way he consumed that candy was abnormal, to say the least. He was clearly exceeding the intended dose. His shaking and sweating were obviously symptoms of withdrawal. After continued consumption, he had built up a tolerance to it. Thus, he needed to eat more and more to achieve the same effect. And now he had lost control. A familiar story. Gretel's dependence on sugar had driven him into sweet madness. Hey, Gretel? I fixed him with a probing look. My eyes had finally adjusted to the darkness, and I, uh, and now I could see not just the outline of his face, but his expression as well. Don't be a bad decision. Don't be a bad decision. I want a sweet treat, okay? Yes, I do. He seemed a bit taken aback. No surprise there, of course. After all, he had only just revealed to me that his treats would uh, his treats would muddle my memories. Gretel rose to his feet and headed for the kitchen. As I watched him go, I answered with, "I'll eat anything you make." It was something of a sh uh, of a stock reply at this point. What you making? In the darkness, Gretel set about making me a sweet treat per my request. But of course, he needed to he needed light to see what he was doing, so he had lit an alcohol burner. Meanwhile, I watched his every move. That way, he couldn't lace the food without me knowing. But at no point did he, uh, did this seemingly occur. Granted, my view of his hands was limited, and soon the dessert was ready. Hi. Dozo. What you make me? 
He offered it to me, and I let him put it in my mouth. But what is it? I chewed slowly, savoring it, and then finally swallowed. I will never know what he fed me. <laughs> Yummy. As far as I could tell, it was a sweet treat and nothing more. Yeah, he fed me a sweet treat. Duh. <laughs> it was yummy. <laughs> In fact, I was starting to question whether he added anything at all. His lips twisted in a defeated smile. At this, I knew my suspicions were correct. He hadn't laced my food with anything at all. It was just a dessert. While my memories were, indeed, hazy in the beginning, that effect had faded over the past few days. His candy was by no means endless. It would run out eventually. Factoring in the amount he used on me, he was going to burn through it very soon. The jar was already just uh, was already at just one third of its capacity. He probably wanted to conserve as much as he pos uh, as much as possible in order to keep himself stable, so he reduced my atonement to zero, or allotment. What a brain words letters. Sugar free, zero calories. I could eat as much as I wanted and never go mad. <laughs> The thing is, Gretel, I'll love you no matter who you are. Villains are hot. Yep. I'll still love you. I answered without a single second of hesitation. Mm, but you love me, right? I smiled in spite of myself. You're just so incredible. You care about me, and you always do your best to look out for me. I couldn't be prouder to call you my brother. <laughs> but you shouldn't eat too much candy. Right now, you're in danger of overdosing. You could die, Gretel. <laughs> then ease up, uh, ease up off them a little at a time. I knew putting him through candy withdrawal would only make him suffer more. But if he reduced his intake little by little, perhaps his body could adapt. Truth be told, he was better off consulting Ryoshi about this stuff, but that wasn't feasible right now. We had sacrificed a lot to come this far. We weren't abandoned by our family. We abandoned them. That's fucking wild. I did I mean I didn't expect it to really develop this way when we first started. My beloved sister lay asleep beside me. She was all snuggled up against me, possibly due to the cold. I prodded her cheek. She squirmed and let out a tiny groan. I poked her again and she pulled the covers up over her head. <laughs> I couldn't stop myself from laughing. I dearly loved getting a reaction out of her. The more I teased her, the more reactions I'd get, and it made me want to tease her even more. I cupped her cheek in my hand and found her skin colder than I was expecting. Strange, since every part, of, every part pressed against me was practically on fire. Or was it me that was burning up? I wrapped my arms around her in an embrace. Her slow, rhythmic breaths tickled my neck, and I could feel her chest pressed up against mine. I let out a long sigh. I wanted to touch her perfect porcelain skin. I wanted to bury my face in her slender neck and kiss her red lips. This was a trap. I could crush her beneath my feral instincts, but then I'd lose the very thing that mattered to me most. And that was what scared me more than anything else. Yeah, something. I whispered in her ear. You just call me a dumbass in my sleep? Come on. As I pulled away from her, I was suddenly gripped with frustration and anxiety, so I jumped out of bed and ate some candy out of the jar. I could hear my sister's voice in my head telling me not to eat them, but I choked down that phantom uh, with the rest of the sugar. 
<laughs> My flat, emotionless laugh echoed through the quiet room. Then I fell to my hands and knees. Uh, you're my only family. We may not be related by blood, but you're still my sister, and I can't consume you. With her delectable body, she was practically begging me to do it. Yeah, having a crush isn't an illness. Well, the, he, he has some other issues that require medication. Um, but that's just one of them. But the instant I did, I would lose my sister. What a wicked witch she was. I am the witch! <laughs> I could never rebel against her. If I tied her up, blinded her, uh, blinded her eyes and gagged her mouth, if I took everything from her, would I finally be free? Could I keep her as my sister? I looked at the jar next to me. Soon it would be empty. How many days did I have left? I knew full well that this happiness would never last. Right now, I could control myself with candy, but uh, what would happen to me once we once it ran out? Maybe I would stop thinking rationally. Maybe I would turn into a demon and devour my sister. I needed to get more candy somehow, and I knew where to find it. But if Ryoshi caught me, he would take me away from my sister again. Sure, I could go without seeing her for a while if I had to, but in the worst case scenario, he might kill me. Either way, I didn't have a choice. I had to do it. Yeah, yeah. Konnichiwa. Sore tomo konbanwa kana? It's Mr. Wizard! <coughs> Hi, Mr. Wizard. He appeared practically out of thin air. I glared at him. Here in this dark void, he was only a shadow. This was the witch's familiar, a black cat who had led us here. Nan no yo desu ka? Yada na. I didn't know what he was planning, so I needed to keep my guard up around him. で、大好きなねえさんとのラブラブ監禁生活のその後はどうだい面白おかしく暮らしてるええ、それはもう笑っちゃうくらいですよそれは良かったなんかミスターウィザーズ、probably その他にも君の頼みを叶えてあげたりもしたそうだったかな。I averted my eyes. そうだよ。君が僕に頼んだんだろう。I want to know what this other wish was. Gretel, what is it? 僕がいない間に現れて姉さんを誘惑してほしいんです。僕のモノマネはやめろ。うざい。だから僕はわざわざ彼女の前に姿を現した。君は姉さんを大好きだっていう割には彼女のことを信じてないんだね。君は不安なんだ。姉さんが僕を置いて遠くに行ってしまうことが、姉さんにとって僕が必要ないん
おまけにジャンキー漁師の言葉を借りるなら君は異常者で問題児で不良だね The next thing I knew I was swinging my fist おっとチッ But he dodged easily Welcome back, Ani. I should have known the、uh, in. I should have known the pitch darkness would hinder me. Yada na. Totsen nagri kakara nai deo. Sore ni. Amari sawanu to. Kimi no itoshi no onei sama ga okite shimau kamo yo. I glanced over at her. She hadn't moved an inch. The sight filled me with relief. That's right, calm down, take a breath, baby. I let out a long breath and stared into the abyss. I don't want to be alone anymore. ねえさんとの面白おかしい生活をキラキラと輝く宝石のような日々を奪われたくなかっただけなのに優秀な僕の姉さん美人で頭が良くて何でもできる僕の憧れの人僕と彼女は濃い絆でつながっていると思ってたでもそれは君の勘違いだった君はその事実を知った時悲しんだそれとも嬉しい黙れ、oh, um, stop trying to provoke him? グレーテル君君が欲しいと言うなら、Ooh. 僕は君にお菓子をあげてやってもいい。But what's the cost? As he spoke, he produced a Full jar of candy, seemingly out of nowhere. So, what? Demo Tada to you, Akenua, I can I give and don't take. Boots got Hoshkeria, sorry, not in a moon, Yokoshina, the Hanashisa. Yes, that's that's the concern. What is the cost? Tell, tell me, good sir, what is the price of that delicious jar of, of rainbow candies? It felt pointless to ask him how he knew about the candy or where he'd gotten his paws on it. After all, there were bigger questions on the table, such as why no one had managed to find us. More than a week had passed since we first arrived here. What was everyone else doing? Surely they would have come looking for us by now, and we weren't that well hidden. And yet, our only visitor thus far was the wizard. I didn't know what he was planning, that sneaky Mr. Wizard. Was his goal,、uh, what was his goal in letting us take shelter here? What, was,、uh, what magic was keeping the rest of the world at bay? Frankly, none of it mattered. Yeah, that's right. I knew he was manipulating me, and I was manipulating him right back. Or at least that's what he's letting you think, Gretel. Oh my god. What is the most important thing? 僕が欲しいのはキラキラと輝く宝石。Wait. What? 君が愛してやまないそれを手放すなら、僕は君にお菓子を。Oh, oh, he want, he want me? Is that what he want? He want me? Wait. What, what are you trading? Born to a high class family, I never had to go without. Anything I wanted, I got. Fancy clothes, tasty food, a dazzling reputation, and even the warmth of love. But I knew my family situation was different from the norm. My older sister and I lived in a house in the countryside together, just the two of us. Our parents had their own place in the big city where they worked. Maybe other people would see this as a scandalous way to raise your children, but we were all okay with it, so in my view, it was perfectly fine. Besides, they gave us a hefty allowance and always made sure to visit us a few times per month when they had time off. I didn't resent them, in fact, I was extremely grateful. 
After all, thanks to them and their prestigious careers, I lived better than the majority of my peers. But though I appreciated them, my connection with them was tenuous at best, and I had no special memories of them. To me, I guess you could say they felt like parents, uh, they felt less like parents and more like benefactors. No surprise there, of course. All the love and discipline a child would normally receive from their parents was instead admi uh, administered by my sister. She cooked for me, she helped me with my homework, she looked after me. Whenever we sh shared a dessert, she would always give me the bigger piece. She praised all my smallest accomplishments. She gave me everything I ever wanted. With her around, I didn't miss our parents. My sister was exceptionally gifted. She excelled at everything she tried, and she got top marks in every subject despite seeming, seemingly never needing to study. Not only that, but she was beautiful, cheerful, and a social butterfly. She always took center stage. She had the ability to succeed without ever putting any real effort in. You know, plot armor, protagonist abilities, it's all good. To me, she was worth her weight in jewels and I respected her from the bottom of my heart. I wanted to be in her league, so I struggled to be, as, uh, to be every bit as perfect as she was. Be it schoolwork or sports, I worked hard to ensure I was number one. I was diligent, composed, and perfectly polite. I was a cut above the rest. And my sister seemed to love this about me. She'd always smile and say, you're so amazing, Gretel. And each time, I'd tell myself that I was worthy of her. Ah, yes, I carry the same blood in my veins. I was born to an exemplary family, so uh, so clearly I must be exemplary too. Rot row. That was what I told myself. And then it turned out to be a lie. Then, one day, I was strolling down an empty hallway... I had stayed at school later than usual to run an errand for my teacher. I let out a sigh. As a model student, everyone was always turning to me for help. My teachers and classmates were all totally helpless without me. I couldn't stand it. I wasn't completely, miser er, I wasn't completely miserable here at this school, but I was growing tired of it. Ideally, I wanted to attend college with my sister. I wanted to sit in the same classroom with her, listen to the same lecture as her, attend the same events as her, and walk to and from school with her. I knew it was a pipe dream, of course, but it was by no means impossible to achieve. And as long as there was even a tiny chance, I couldn't let go. I wanted nothing more than to go home, eat my sister's cooking, and have her help me with my homework. As I, passed by a, uh, as I passed by a classroom, however, I caught a whiff of the, wor uh, the world's most nauseating scent. Instantly, my good mood was spoiled, and I let out another sigh. One of the other students was smoking a cigarette. He was a notorious delinquent who spent his time uh, running with the wrong crowd instead of attending school. Riff-raff, if you ask me. I didn't want to interact with him, but we had already made eye contact, so I didn't have a choice. Kimi. At my question, he exhaled a cloud of smoke, dropped the cigarette to the floor, and crushed it under his heel. This infuriated me, but I limited my, uh, myself to just a glare. Not wanting to get involved any further, I hastily packed up my things so I could get away from him, but then I heard him snicker. Ah, uh, this was the first fight. Eh? みんな知ってるよ。お前が貰われっ子だってさ。お前さ、あの姉ちゃんと2人で暮らしてんだろ。血が繋がってないのに1つ屋根の下に住んでるとか。やらしい。Instantly I felt a murderous impulse flare up, but I quickly thought better of it. I couldn't stoop to this idiot's level. I had more self-respect than that and better things to do with my free time. But I couldn't stop my hands from bawling into fists. Then, as I kept my back turned, he said something he really shouldn't have. Oh, God. 
Yeah. Then die. That that's a bit too far there, bud. All right, I should have expected that. Before I even knew what I was doing, I had hurled a chair in his direction. Huh? The moment he flinched, I dove at him. Jesus. We both. Okay. Wow. All right. Fist fight in my ears. We. Oh, God. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Well, now that it stopped, uh, we both crashed to the ground, taking some desks with us. Then I climbed on top of him and punched him again and again and again. With each blow, there was a dull thud as the impact made my whole arm tingle. Wow, basically just smashed their face in. Bleeding profusely from his broken nose, he begged for mercy, but it was too little too late. I was going to make sure he never made a comment like that ever again. Yamenasai! Oh, that's how he got caught. The next thing I knew, a teacher rushed in and pu uh, put me in a full Nelson. Meanwhile, the creep who had insulted me and my sister was now crying and bleeding all over the place. How pathetic. Normally, he acted like he was so much better than these authority figures, but now here he was, begging for their help. Jesus. Fortunately, I could still move my feet, so when he reached his hand out, I stomped down on it mercilessly. As his scream echoed through the empty classroom, I thought to myself, Oh. The school contacted not my sister, but my older brother. Since our parents lived out of town, he was the oldest, and uh, he was listed as the primary point of contact. But I didn't like him very much at all. Unlike our parents, he worked locally, and although he didn't live with us, he still occasionally turned up on our doorstep to criticize our lifestyle. And unlike our sweet, thoughtful sister, he was cold and distant with me. Frankly, I found him highly uh, I found him highly unpleasant to be around. He was a hindrance to my happy life with my sister. He smacked me over the head and told me to apologize to my victim, his parents, and the teachers. He clearly didn't care about my feelings whatsoever. Sounds like standard teenage angst, but you know. <laughs> but if my sister were here, she would have asked me why I did what I did, which is also important. And then she would have stood up for me. Suspended for two weeks. That was my punishment. But I didn't really object to this decision. While he was the one who started it, I'd clearly let my emotions get the better of me. That much I sorely regretted. If I was going to cross the line, I could have done a lot better. I could have made sure no one would find out about it. That way I wouldn't have been punished at all. <laughs> but alas, it was too late. My only option was to avoid making the same mistake in the future. Besides, if I was going to be stuck at home, it would mean more time to spend with my sister. This was a much more efficient use of my time compared to wasting it on those idiots at school, and I couldn't ask for anything more. While I was at home, I could get ahead of all my, on all my schoolwork. That'd show them. Suddenly, I was brimming with motivation, but right as I tried to go, uh, to go home to my sister, a demon swept into my path. お前は人を傷つけたんだぞ。ちゃんと反省しているのか。してますよ。なあ、グレーテル。You're my brother sighed and shook his head. According to him, wailing on an opponent who couldn't fight back was problematic behavior. 
Personally, I thought I thought skipping school, smoking in the classroom, and sexual harassment were far more problematic than anything I had done, so I told him that. But my brother stubbornly refused to acknowledge my opinion. He tried to claim that I lacked ethics and morals. Then he tried to take me not to the house to where my sister was waiting for me, but to some cabin in the woods. He was always, always like this. He didn't treat me like a little brother. He treated me like a crazy person. Once again, my sister was the only person I could trust. But she wasn't here. The demon grabbed my arm and tried to drag me away. Oh, Gretel! That's right, she was there. She did show up. As I struggled, my sister turned up right at, in the nick of time. My savior. My holy mother. I reached out to her, but, uh, but the demon ripped us apart. The demon locked me up in a stark white room. No matter how much I pounded on, uh, pound, pounded on or kicked the door, it refused to budge. But no matter how much I screamed, no one came to save me. Instead, they forced me out of, uh, out of my street clothes and into a hospital gown, then belted my arms and legs to the bed. It was humiliating. Every waking moment was supervised and micromanaged. When I tried to protest by refusing to eat my food, I ended up with an IV in my arm. Under the effects of the medicine, I slowly lost the energy to fight. Or even think. The next day, my parents came to visit. After a long, harsh lecture about violence, they gave me a hug, but I felt nothing. No matter what petty, uh, no matter what pretty words they had to offer me, it didn't change the fact that they had cons uh, they had consented to me being locked up in here. They had abandoned me. When they asked me if I needed anything, I said I wanted to see my sister, but this wish was not granted. She was the only person on this earth who truly cared about me. She understood me. She was my only family. And at this rate, it was possible I would never see her again. I wanted to avoid that at any cost. But how could I get home? Eventually, I decided I would pretend to obey them. I swallowed everything they gave me and never disobeyed. Everything I did, all of it, was for sister. I looked down at the pills in my hand and imagined they were candies from my beloved sister. No matter how much that uh, no matter how disgusting they tasted, I would happily eat a gift from her. <sighs> After that, sure enough, I was finally allowed to see my sister, but as happy as it made me, I was too lethargic to express my feelings. My sister seemed deeply concerned about me. Gretel, is there anything you need? Anything I can do for you? I slowly shook my head. Yeah. As long as she was with me, I didn't need anything else. Gretel. 
I could tell she wanted to console me, to cheer me up. Don't cry, okay? I'm here for you. Yeah, so. I'll protect you, I promise. Only in my sister's warm embrace did I finally feel at peace. When I returned home, the person who claimed to be my father said the whole family would live together for the time being. When I asked, what about your job? He said, I'll figure something out. You're more important right now. I'm sorry I haven't been around more. I was so annoyed. He was getting in the way of my peaceful life with my sister. She was my family, not these other people. But if I said that out loud, I'd get thrown right back out of the house, and I couldn't risk that. So instead, I quietly accepted it. I needed to go back to acting like the perfect son. No, I needed to be even more perfect. Besides, I knew my parents would go back to the city sooner or later. They were all talk. If it came down to a choice between me or their jobs, I knew I didn't stand a chance. But I didn't mind. I was fine with it. At least that, was the, uh, at least that way, things could go back to normal. The only person I needed was my sister. As for my sister, she stayed home with me for the rest of my suspension. When I asked her about college, she simply smiled and said, I'm staying right here with you. I was so happy to know that I was her top priority. After spending time apart from her, I made some, I made some important discoveries. I realized exactly how much I needed her, and I realized how she saw me. During my suspension, she offered to tutor me, same as usual, but I declined. Truth be told, I wanted her to teach me all kinds of things, but if I let her, we'd end up right back where we were before. And for her sake, I needed to change bit by bit. She was always kind to me. But if she ever truly lost faith in me, I would lose my place in this family. I would lose everything. So I couldn't just mooch off her kindness. If anything, I needed her to depend on me. Ideally to the point that she couldn't function without me. I wanted her to need me as badly as I needed her. That way I could ensure that she would never, uh, she would never turn against me. That way I would never be abandoned. That way, I would never be rejected. But apparently, I wasn't the only one who changed. After my two-week suspension was up, I went to school to find that everyone looked at me differently. All the teachers and classmates who once sang my praises now avoided my gaze and kept me at arm's length. Evidently, I was now on par with that delinquent. How revolting. These people didn't know the first thing about what happened that day as if these worthless worms could possibly comprehend how I felt. I ate some candies to suppress my anger, then read my textbooks between classes. As I grew calmer, I started to think, maybe I should have acted out a lot sooner. That way, I wouldn't have been forced to humor these plebeian creatures all this time. Oh, hi, Gretel. Nessel. After school, I found my sister waiting for me by the front gates. She stood out like a sore thumb, and I was surprised to see her there. I thought I'd come get you. Let's go home. Although she didn't say it directly, I could tell she was worried about me. I cursed myself for troubling her, but deep down, I was delighted. Suppressing my feelings, I remained outwardly calm and accepted her proposal. On the way home, she asked me about my day, so I lied and said everything was fine. I didn't tell her, or my parents, how people were treating me at school. I could dress it up by saying I didn't want to worry them, or something, uh, but really, I was just ashamed of it. I would have rather offered myself- uh, I would have rather offed myself than admit that I was being ostracized. Incidentally, Rumor had it that my victim had uh, had since become a shut-in. Served him right, as far as I was concerned. But at the same time, I envied him. 
Unlike me, that piece of trash had real biological parents who loved him and refused to abandon him no matter what. God, it pissed me off. And every time I had a mood swing, I ate some candy. The more I ate, the more addicted I got. Sure enough, one, you know, the, this is another situation of this would be very, probably better resolved if he went to therapy instead of just straight to medication. So good job, Ryoshi, for fucking starting that up. Sure enough, once my parents had decided that things had settled down, they went back to the city. Now the only people left in the house were me, my sister, and my brother. But once my brother saw that I was behaving like a good boy, he went back to his own house nearby. At last, I could have my sister all to myself. On the surface, things had gone back to normal, but it wasn't quite the same. From the bottom of my heart, I wished we could stay like this forever. Time flew by, and soon six months had passed since the incident. The two of us had gone back to our happy life together. By this point, I had learned how to handle my sister. I needed to get aggressive and take the initiative. A little salt to enhance the sweetness. Did he lie about that? <laughs> Confess what? Uh, oh, huh. Cool. Wait, is that why you were late leaving school today? Yes. None of this was true. No one would have dared to ask me out prior to my... Uh, no one would have dared to ask me out prior to my little incident, and that was doubly true now. But my sister didn't know this, so she took me at my word and frowned. I'm like a fool, I believed him. What? Y you did? How come? This time her voice went up an octave and her eyes widened. Silly girl. Sweet Okay. Wait, so... So you turned her down because she doesn't measure up compared to me? I almost laughed out loud at her arrogance, but the fact, rema the fact remained she was right. So I rose to my feet, pinched her nose, and scowled. Gretel! Her jewel eyes sparkled brighter and brighter. They say love is blind, but frankly, I was surprised my perfect sister was still naive enough to believe in some guy's lies. I had long since realized that my sister's love for me was romantic. The way she looked at me, the way she behaved when I was around, all of it suggested that she was in love with me. It was clear from the way she overreacted to everything I said or did. And of course, I was sincerely delighted that she felt that way about me. None of the other girls could possibly hold a candle to her. Compared to my sister's sparkle, the other jewels were mere pebbles. That said, I couldn't very well encur encourage her crush. The second I reciprocated, we would stop being brother and sister. As her brother, I maintained a tenuous connection to her sparkle. And if I stopped being her brother, that connection would be severed. That being said, I couldn't let some other guy have her either. I didn't want her to be vulnerable around other men the way she was with me. The thought made me realize how, uh, how relieved I was to have her romantic interest. I wanted her to stay in love with me forever. But the happy times were fleeting, like a phantom, and they swiftly came to an end. One day after school, I found my sister surrounded by human garbage. 
so I ran right over and put a stop to it. My sister had reached out and touched that maggot's face. She was so clueless. She had no idea that even her smallest actions would have a massive impact on these worthless subhuman creatures. But when it rains, it pours, as they say. And when we got home, my least favorite person, my brother, was waiting for us. He warned me not to overdose on candy, but I ignored him. Maybe he should have thought about that before he prescribed it to me. Why do these people infuriate me so? A short while later, another incident occurred. It happened on the day my sister decided not to walk me to school. That morning, when she gave me my packed lunch, she told me she wanted us to walk separately from now on, too. Evidently, she mistakenly thought I found it suffocating. Who could have put that idea in her head? Was it Wolfie, that nosy creep? I wanted to roll my eyes, but instead, I remained calm. Good it. Oh, hi, Red! Hi, baby! <laughs> I love you. Okazukin-san? That night, I found an unusual visitor standing outside my house. It was very peculiar to see him here. He averted his gaze and hurried off. I found it suspicious, but decided to shrug it off. Rut row. We get to see this scene from his perspective. In the living room, I noticed the first aid kit sitting on the table. My heart pounded in my chest. I could tell that someone had used some of our disinfectant and gauze. I looked up at the ceiling. Her shoes were sitting on the shoe rack, so I knew she was here. The faint scent of soap lingered in the room. I peered into the bathroom. No one was inside, but I found my sister's clothes. I picked them up and noticed they were covered in dirt stains. Sirens blared in my mind. I hurried upstairs just as my sister walked out of her room. Yes, Do I get to relive this scene just from his point of view? This was last week. As soon as I laid my eyes on her, my voice faltered. Her beautiful face was all banged up and it hurt to look at. Oh, this? I tripped and fell. She answered in a playful tone, but I could tell it was forced. She always did this when she was trying to hide something. Nope. She shook her head. I noticed she was carrying a large suitcase. She must have been planning to sneak away somewhere behind my back. No, I'm not. <laughs> I was sick of her trying to play dumb, so I raised my voice. She flinched. It's it's nothing, okay? Oh god. <laughs> that face again though, bruh. I can't. And then she wrapped her arms around me. There's nothing to worry about. I put my hands on her shoulders and pushed her away. Gretel? Then I grabbed her arm and pushed her down to the bed so she couldn't bolt. Pinning her beneath me, I, st I started my inspection. Her cheek, her arms, her palms, and lastly her thighs. Each time I touched her, she squirmed. <laughs> I yanked up her top. A big red bruise had formed on her skin. No. No, I wasn't raped. I wasn't. I'm. I'm fine. I brought it upon myself. That's all. 
自業自得って何ですか優秀な姉さんが自業自得なんてそんなことあるわけない I'm not as perfect as you think I am, Gretel. Don't give me that. If you're not perfect, then what does that make me? Trash? Because he's a policeman? It's not that. Okay, we're back to him yelling at me. No. On my way home, a stranger tried to pull me into their car, but Red rescued me. Yes. I did. See? I'm all patched up. She smiled and gestured to the gauze. No, I. Yes, the gauze. My voice shook. No, not just my voice. My whole body was shaking. Gretel. My sight blurred and a single drop fell into her sh into her shapely chest. She reached out to touch my cheek, but I couldn't take it anymore. I grabbed her outstretched hand and kissed it. Nessa. 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 ねえさ。かわいそうな姉さん。こんなにボロボロにされて痛かったですよね。怖かったですよね。なのに僕が助けてあげられなくてごめんなさい。姉さん。I held her and sobbed. She put her arms around me and held me back. My dear angelic sister. She had suffered far worse than I had. She was in physical pain and yet she put me first. How could I possibly make it up to her? After a long moment, I got up. I had a job to do. Fortunately, I had brought the jar of candy with me just in case. Gretel? I picked out two candies and brought, uh, brought them to her mouth. She shook her head, refusing. So I spoke to her gently to avoid frightening her. I didn't have time for for a long involved conversation. So I put the candy in my mouth and kissed her. She put up a fight and I pushed her tongue out of the way and forced the candy in. Even after she swallowed them, the sweet taste lingered and I dearly wanted to share it with her. It was my first kiss. My sister's face turned red and her chest started to heave, possibly from the lack of oxygen. Her jewel eyes were damp and gleaming. I administered candy to her again and again. I couldn't stop myself. But she didn't resist. でも、今日は今日だけは特別です。特別なこと好きでしょ。
Over time, her eyelids grew heavy. Evidently, the drug had kicked in. そのまま眠気に身を沈ませていれば、今日あったことも全部夢だと思うようになりますよ。これは嫌な夢。悪魔が見せた悪い夢です。目が覚めたらまた一緒に楽しく暮らしましょう。I planted one final tiny kiss on her lips. Then the jar, fe uh, the jar fell and candy rainbows scattered all over the floor. Now it truly felt like a nightmare. Once she was rendered immobile, I left the house. And then we all know he went to go try and murder several students. Oh good, we get to see the murder part too? Well, the attempted murder. I was going to make it up to her by putting an end to the people who hurt her. After all, I had a pretty good idea of who it was. It must have been the worthless worms who were hassling her. I vaguely recognized them. They were buddies with the loser I sent to the hospital six months ago. Why had they waited so long to get their revenge? The more I thought about what, uh, what they had probably done to my sister, the deeper my rage burned. <laughs> Late that night, when the streets were deserted, I, I tailed one of the worms and ambushed him. With a little threatening, he quickly admitted that they had attacked my sister. First, I made him tell me what really happened, as well as the whereabouts of his buddies. Then, one by one, I called them all out to the woods where they liked to hang out. None of them ever suspected a thing. They all waltzed right up to me, and it was all too easy to nab them. And after a little interrogating, they all swiftly confessed to their crimes. This process took place over nearly a full day. I wanted to take them all out during the night when no one was around, but hey, no plan ever works out perfectly. That said, their little hideout made for a convenient setting. No one came to investigate the commotion. After, uh, after I had my fill of tormenting them, I stole their phones and viewed the footage of, uh, of their crimes against my sister. On screen, I could see my sister trying to crawl away. They grabbed her by the hair and forced her onto the ground, kicked her, hit her in the face. One of them buried his face in her neck and pulled, uh, put a hand up her shirt. But then someone else showed up, and the video ended abruptly. They looked up at me, terror in their eyes. I made several improvements to their faces, including swollen cheeks, cut lips, and dried blood. I dropped the phones to the ground and kicked the nearest conveniently available stomach. You serious, dude? I kicked him again and again and again until eventually I started to wear myself out. When I stopped, my victim started to cough and wheeze. <laughs> I stomped on his skull. Jesus. Oh. ねえさんがどれだけ深く傷ついたと思ってるんだ。こっちが下手に出てれば調子に乗り上がって。これだからバカは嫌いなんだよ。お前らがねえさんにしたことに比べたら数百倍もマシだろう。通い女性を集団で
お前らの親もお前らに似てろくでもないんだろうな<笑>お前だってろくでもねえ育てられ方したんだろう,うるせえよ。Yeah, fucking talk back to the guy who's about to murder you. Jesus. I walked over to the loudmouth, grabbed him by the collar, and hoisted him up. Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> I raised my fist as he glared bitterly back at me. Bokuasa, Omaira to Chigate, Campekina Ningeni Soda Teraretandao. Bijin, Atamaga Yokte, Yasashkte Nanda de Kioni Konaste Miser. Liori got okay desa, Skurimono Sibete Oishinda. It Looking at his face, it's just dawning on me again that he is actually like this. Was he actually like this in Cinderella's route when I first was fawning over him? Like, <laughs> how did how did we get here? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Why is this dawning on me again? I, Gretel, H how did we end up here? <laughs> I mean, I love the fact that he's fucking Yandere, but at the same time, it's like, um, I don't know. How did this walking red flag lead you out into the woods? This is his flashback of when he went and found the the guys who attacked her so like i'm pretty sure like i'm pretty sure they walked into it like oh we're just gonna fucking get him back because he thinks he can handle all of us and then gretel did handle all of them he he this is his vigilante justice <laughs> this is his batman moment only this batman do murder Once I confirmed that he was done, uh, that he was done talking back, I threw him to the ground. Then I looked over at the rest of them. Sinamini, Doga wa kore dake? Kore dake da. He's Batman, yeah. Honto ni? Honto da. Kono yubi ni chikau? I pinched the youngest boy's pinky between my thumb and forefinger. Oh god, are you gonna break his fingers for filming the video? I don't make me hear it, I don't wanna hear it. Evidently, even an idiot like him could see where this was headed. But his desperate plea fell on deaf ears. Oh, why did I have to hear it? Stop! Not in my ears! Ursaina, Takadaka, you be or at a cry, the Sawagonio. I sighed and flung out another kick to shut him up. De Doga Koreshka no cottenai Okanua. Nai, Nai, Koredakishka no cottenase. Check all their phones. You, you have them. You took all their phones. <laughs> he pointed at one of his buddies. Celery <laughs> stopped getting broken and half sounded realistic. I mean, you know. In 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 the moment, it, it do sound like that is what be happening, and my brain, brain do like to put visual to it. Not good. <laughs> my gaze turned to his uh, to this other worm, who immediately started crying and shaking his head. Was this their sacrificial offering to me? Bonus celery. I mean, you know. It, it it does make the, the crisp crunch when you snap it, so it makes sense. Did they think they could save themselves by throwing their friend under the bus? I snorted. 
そうなんだ教えてくれてありがとう Wow thanks for telling me <笑>じゃあこっちの彼の指も折っときますか <laughs> Bones is celery. I'll be using that in conversations now. I mean, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Bones is celery. He tried to crawl away, but I grabbed him by the back of the neck and hoisted him up. I grimaced as an unpleasant stench met my nostrils. The crotch of his pants was visibly damp. He had wet himself. Poor lad. Wait, what? They can see the shape of a face in the background? What? Where? I want to see it. I just see Gretel, but I'm. <laughs> yeah, everyone proceeds to squint really hard. Wait for a s e m Uh, well. Middle right. I mean, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try and keep an eye out for it. <laughs> the, the face in, in the back middle right is actually just Mr. Wizard watching from a distance. <laughs> It's just Mr. Wizard, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, truth be told, I didn't really want to,、uh, want to even be near them, let alone touch them, but I didn't have a choice. <laughs> I'm looking. In the middle right? <laughs> just... I, I'm not seeing it. I could just be blind, but.、Uh, as he flailed on the ground, I stomped my shoe against his face, grabbed his middle finger, and twisted it as hard as I could. <laughs> Oh, there's the celery. His scream echoed through the trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I picked up a decent sized rock lying nearby and wi、oh, wedged it into his mouth. Excuse me? Shh. <laughs> Gretel, please. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's gonna make me sick. I cannot, I can't picture that. God. Smiling, I pressed my index finger to his lips. I figured if he didn't shut up, I'd just kick him in the face and make him break his teeth on the rock. Instead, he nodded vigorously as tears streamed down his cheeks. I think he figured out what's going on. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I have to go to bed after this. <laughs> I, have to, I have to sleep after experiencing this. <laughs> I stomped on their phones until they shattered, then pulled out their SIM cards and stomped on those for good measure. Now, no one would ever uncover my sister's dark secret. But now you've also dispatched of the evidence of. I mean, there's Red who was a witness, but still, the evidence of the crime. <laughs> Thanks, Ane. <laughs> I'll sleep well.、Uh, I, I'll, I'll pop on some ASMRs and hopefully it'll bleach my brain of this. In my relief, I glanced over and made eye contact with one of the quieter worms. So, you didn't have to delete your mind. You didn't have to delete your mind. You didn't have to delete your mind. You didn't have to. <laughs> Gretel very casually. How much weight do you think it would take to smash in your skulls? <laughs> He's yonder, get it right. 
姉さんを犯そうとしたよね嫌がる姉さんを組み敷いて上着の隙間から手を入れた僕のことが気に食わないのなら僕に直接言えばいいのにわざわざ姉さんを手にかけやがって The only good thing about that disgusting video footage was that it showed me there, they were interrupted before the line could be crossed. Judging from their voice, the intruder was probably Red Riding Hood. Ma, demo. I grabbed the leader by the hair and made him kiss the dirt. This was the one I really needed to torture. The video replayed in my head, vividly, as if I was standing right there at the time. This one buried his, buried his face into my sister's neck and slobbered all over her skin. Then he put his hand up her shirt and fondled her breasts against her will. You <laughs> I was like, I'm going to go to the house. Yeah, um, if you watch it later on YouTube, though, B,、um, I put a timestamp on the YouTube edit for the couple minutes that the scene happens, so that way you can skip it and just go straight to the part where Red shows up and interrupts everything. Just in case you decide to, to catch up on the previous videos. I put like a warning in the beginning of the video and then a warning just as the scene was coming up to remind. Because that was very uncomfortable for me. But, I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 I had destroyed the evidence, but the memory still remained. Her pretty face was beaten, and her beautiful body was very nearly tarnished, all thanks to this piece of trash. Rage boiled inside me. Yeah, Gretel needs the brain bleach. <laughs> His lips spread in a crazed grin. There's, there, there's no right answer to that question. <laughs> My anger morphed into murderous design and I kicked him hard in the gut. Then I leapt on top of him and punched him over and over and over. His blood stained my fists and flew onto my face. <laughs> An indeterminate amount of time passed. My fists were starting to hurt, so I let up. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that they put this in first person for just seeing it all from Gretel's perspective. Oh, hi, babies. Hi, Harley. <laughs> Harley's like, hi, I heard you're having a hard time. I'm here to be cute. I'm gonna pet my dog for a quick second while I read. The thug who had touched my sister was now nigh unrecognizable. His face was completely swollen and bleeding all over. His nose was possibly broken, and his eardrums might have ruptured. But that was what he deserved for laying a finger on my sister. That was his just deserts. I could hear the others crying as they watched. How disgraceful. Man up, you little worms. If anyone should be crying, it's me. Now that he was rendered unconscious, I hopped off him. Then I noticed a bottle lying on the ground. I crouched down and picked it up. According to the label, the alcohol content was 96%. That. that is. that is insane. 96%. Sate. Korekara no kotodakedo. Oh, we're almost at the part where we showed up. 
we as as the, the as Yurika, the female lead. Yeah, I mean, you might as well just give him a, a, a full-on bottle of just straight rubbing alcohol at that point. That, or just just give him a can of gasoline at that point. Same fucking difference. It burns. They must have thought I was going to beat them some more because they all yelped and trembled. At first, I thought maybe I could erase their memories by giving them brain concussions, but that simply wouldn't do. Or contusions, whatever. Concussion, contusion, it's, it's head trauma. As long as they remained alive, my sister and I would relive those memories every time we saw them. So there was only one choice. This was my only option. I opened the bottle and promptly poured its contents, contents all over the worms. The smell of alcohol filled the air, neat, uh, neatly overriding the stench of blood and ammonia. Once the bottle was empty, I tossed it to the ground, and they flinched. I pulled a matchbox out of my pocket and crouched down to their eye level. Oh, yeah, that would also burn any wounds, too. Then, I took a matchstick out of the box and waved it in their faces. I watched as despair descended over them. <laughs> Do you want to see? Do you want to see how much it burns? <laughs> I pretended to strike the match and one of them let out a scream. But right as I went to light the match... Stop! It was my sister. She wrapped her arms around me from behind more tightly than I thought she was capable of. I turned and looked uh, looked her in the eyes. Gretel, you're bleeding. Evidently, she thought the blood was mine. To reassure her, I smiled and spoke in a cheerful tone. I wouldn't call that cheerful, but he, he's trying. No! She snatched at my match faster than I was expecting her to be. In my surprise, it fell from my fingers to the, to the wet ground. I pulled another match out of the box. Please don't do this. ADHD kicking in like the little crown at the top of the little border for the green and he's got the little crown on his head and now I'm just thinking about Gretel wearing a cute little crown. <laughs> you should see me in a crown. I'm sorry, I'll continue now. <laughs> I'm sorry everyone, this is all my fault. <laughs> Should that be my thumbnail for when I put this up on YouTube? Let's <laughs> just put Gretel on a crown. <laughs> this is like all the stuff that we literally just read at the start of the episode. 
Yeah, that was when I realized that she wasn't worried about me. She was worried about her abusers. She was just so naive. So, cloying innocent... Cloying the innocent, it made me sick. Who gives a fuck? He's a, he's a gross, dirty, nasty boy. And not in a good way. どうせろくな大人になりゃしませんよ。己の欲望のままに行動して、していいこととは悪いことの区別がまるでついてない。生きる価値がないとはまさにこのことだ。なぜカバウンですか？I feel like I need to change the title of this episode. This is not the bird cage. This is just watching Gretel spiral. こいつは姉さんを襲ったやつなんですよ。危うく姉さんはこいつらに侵されるところだったんですよ。姉さんの大事な体に傷をつけて心にも傷を負わせた。下手すれば一生残るかもしれなかったんですよ。but it wasn't. I'm fine now. Fucker, hey, kid, get out! God damn it! Fucking makes me flinch every time. Look, I get it, but I'm begging you, please, just stop. I just want to go home with you, and if you cross that line, I. Isn't that a face you want to kiss? Tell me you don't want to kiss that face. I dare you. That's the face that you kiss. That is the face. That we want to kiss. <laughs> That's the face we're kissing, guys. We're gonna kiss that face. That one specifically. <laughs> yeah, Gretel could very just casually throw the match behind him and light them all on fire. I kind of thought that it was gonna happen. She was crying. Honestly, I wasn't sure what exactly she was crying over. Me? Herself? Or her attackers? But either way, I knew I had caused it. Gretel! <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll leave them be as they burn. They burn in the campfire. Out of nowhere, a fist came flying at me. I couldn't dodge it. What are you doing, Ryoshi! The taste of metal spread in my mouth. I spat a, glo a glob of blood and saliva to the ground, then glared at the intruder. It was the man I hated more than anyone else. My sister's real brother. I felt my sister shrink against my back. Poor thing. She was probably scared out of her wits. Gretel. When I stood up for my sister, Ryoshi rounded on me. Gretel. No, explain it to me. Oh, is that what that is? I got <laughs> he stared at me wide-eyed, like he was at a loss for words. <laughs> then he turned away and started to untie the vermin. Oi,大丈夫か？しっかりしろ。助けて。今救急車を呼んでやる。息はあるみたいだな。何やってるんですか？そんな奴ら放っておいたらいいじゃないですか。If <laughs> I need practice, they're perfect for. I mean, you know, that would be his rationale. そうは行くか。すみません。大至急救急車をお願いしたいのですが、はい。場所はあんたの妹を襲った奴らですよ。Unlike me, he was actually related to her. I was always so envious of that. I coveted that connection. 
暴力が許されるわけないだろうお前がぶっ殺そうとしたこいつらにだって家族はいるんだよ家族なら僕は虫けら以下の存在だということですかグレトルだってそうでしょう僕には家族がいないんですから家族じゃないだなんてそんなこと誰に言われなくても分かってましたよ僕はあんたたちと違って優秀でも何でもない石ころだってことくらいだからいろいろ頑張ってきたじゃないか勉強だってスポーツだって優秀なあんたたちに認められたくて今までひしこいてやってきたんだよグレーテル That loser's comments were played in my mind. Oh, my, Honto no Kazukuja nine that dinner. Mina still yo. Oh, my, the Moravareko that is a sayer sayer say. Oh, okay, it's the family. I, I didn't recognize for a second. I didn't need other people to tell me what I already knew. I knew my parents weren't really my parents, and I knew my sister wasn't really my sister. Biologically, we were strangers. Honestly, I couldn't really remember when it, uh, when it was that I figured it out. Not that it mattered. What mattered was that my sister and I weren't really connected. Her blood didn't run in my veins, which meant I wasn't special. <laughs> ついていた。僕があなたたちと違って優秀でも。ましてや天才でもない。勉強も。スポーツも。陰で努力をしながら今の地位を築き上げてきたんだ。ただ姉さんに追いつきたい一心で。姉さんと繋がっていた一心で築
It didn't happen this week. Baby didn't get put in the birdcage. Woo! <laughs> it's very quiet. I feel weird about cheering. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go back to the title so we can have some background noise here because uh, it's very <laughs> it's very quiet. There we go. I live free another day outside the birdcage. Hell yeah. Woo woo. <laughs> um. All right, so next stream is going to be uh, Thursday, which is World's End Club. We're going to be finishing up World's End Club. The Go-Getters Club is coming to a close. So exciting. Oh my god, if if, 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 if if you haven't watched last week's episode, oh my god, please, <laughs> please go watch. So many things happened! Oh, uh, well, last week's episode will be up on Twitch, but it'll be up on YouTube this upcoming Thursday, so... If you're watching on YouTube, maybe no dice, but it'll it, it's the week after, but... Anyways, um, after we're done with World's End Club, we will be playing something other than Deathmark. I do know I keep saying Deathmark, but we're going to take a break from the visual novel stuff a little bit. Um, we're going to kind of step away from that, so it's going to be... It's going to be something else instead. And if you've seen my Twitter, <laughs> I posted a hint today. <laughs> Everybody knows it on my Discord. <laughs> um... But yeah, really exciting and sad that World's End Club is coming to an end, but also really exciting at what comes after. So, kind of a, a mixed bag. But that will be it for today for Oto Monday. We'll we'll see you guys again on RPG Thursday. Um, in the meantime, though, have a fantastic west rest of your night. And if you're watching on YouTube, whether, you know, if, if not at night, then have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, you guys stay happy, stay healthy, stay hydrated. I love you. And you guys have, have a good one. Okay? <laughs> <laughs>